Mixcraft allows for a variety of hands-on control, so you're not limited solely to using a mouse. There are two main remote control options. You can control Mixcraft functions like play, stop, record, adjust master volume, and more. This is convenient when you're away from your computer keyboard, like if you're doing an overdub, or want to use a more music-oriented controller than a computer keyboard. Another control option allows hands-on control for parameters and effects or virtual instruments, such as turning a knob on a keyboard controller or moving a foot pedal to change the synthesizer's filter cutoff or an effect's wet mix. This is covered in Control Surfaces Part 2, Controlling Virtual Instruments and Effects. Most MIDI controllers can work with Mixcraft, but some are more suitable than others. Many synthesizers include knobs and buttons that send MIDI data, as do MIDI keyboard controllers. Some percussion controllers work well for control. You might even have an old drum machine around whose pads generate MIDI notes, so it can serve as a simple remote control. There are also dedicated control surfaces designed specifically for hands-on control. The controller needs to patch into your computer so that Mixcraft can read the controller's commands. Some MIDI controllers have physical jacks that patch to a MIDI interface. Others send MIDI data via USB. To verify that the device is connected, go to the Mix menu and select Control Surfaces. Check that your controller appears under the Device menu and select it. If the device isn't available, close Mixcraft, Make sure the controller is connected, then open Mixcraft and try again. If the device still doesn't appear, check whether it requires specific drivers and install them according to the manufacturer's instructions. There are two ways to assign controller buttons and knobs to Mixcraft functions. By using the Control Surfaces menu, or by clicking on parameters you want to control. After choosing control surfaces from the mix menu and selecting the control device, click on MIDI Learn. Next, select the function you want to control, like play. As this is a switched function, not a continuous control like volume, push a button on your controller to control play. Now, click on the stop parameter and push a controller button that should control stop. Similarly, click record and push a suitable record button. If you don't have dedicated buttons, no problem. Mixcraft responds to MIDI note numbers as well, so you can use any keyboard. When overdubbing keyboard parts, this is very handy, because you can dedicate keys you don't use in a part, like the highest or lowest notes, to transport control. Now, click on Adjust Master Volume. This should be a control instead of a switch, so turn the knob or slider with which you want to control master volume. That's enough for now, you can assign other parameters at any time. Click on Stop Learning and save this set of assignments for future use. Click on Save, enter the control surface name, then click on Save again. This set of assignments will now be available in the future. Click on Close and you can control Play, Stop, Record, and Master Level from the controller. Note that you can limit the controller to a particular device, so you can use separate devices for controllers and playing MIDI notes, as well as save different assignments for different controllers. Another way to assign controllers also starts with the Control Surface Details window open and clicking on MIDI Learn. Several on-screen buttons and controls turn blue. This means they can be controlled from a controller. Click on the button or control and move the corresponding hardware control. For example, if you want to assign loop on-off to your controller, click on the loop mode button, then push an appropriate hardware button to complete the assignment. This assignment will also appear in the control surface details window 
so you can combine both methods to make your assignments. When you're done, click on Stop Learning. Save the assignments for future use and close the Details window. Now you're ready to control Mixcraft from your hardware controller.